Look at this. Tell me this is not comfort. Oh. You love comfort food? I love comfort food. I'm gonna share with you one of my absolutely favorite go-to comfort food meals that my family loves. It is super easy to make, it's inexpensive, and you are gonna find this hack to be amazing. When I was doing my food vlog, I will tell you that this was one of the most popular recipes that I had on my food blog because it is so super easy and anybody can do this. Literally anybody can do this. This is chicken pot pie. And I know it sounds complicated, but it's not. All right, so I took a rotisserie chicken. I got one at the store. I like getting them for a store shortcut, but if you wanna cook your own and take the time to do that, then have a ball, friends, have a ball. Okay, um, I am just going to kind of roughly chop because as you can tell when I took off my chicken, I just really just pulled it off in chunks when I was taking it off of the rotisserie. So I'm just going to cut it up a little bit. Again, when this is warm, like this has been in the fridge for a few days, because I did this when I went to the store, um, you can actually just kind of shred this with your fingers. It are, are two forks. I mean, it makes it super easy. I'm just chunking it up right now though. Now a chicken pot pie is pretty much a, look at all this from this rotisserie chicken. Like that's a lot of chicken. Um, a chicken pot pie is usually pretty creamy, right? Now we're going to take a shortcut from the store again. So we're going to do a whole family size can of cream of chicken. And yes, I know it's not the healthiest option out there, but it's good. And I'm going to sneak a little, a little surprise surprise in because you know me, um, I need my protein in and I like to be able to sneak it in wherever I possibly can without my family knowing. And they have no idea what I actually sneak it into. It's a fun game for me. All right. So I'm just going to plop this in my mixing bowl here. All right. So we've got our cream of chicken. Our secret now I use unflavored protein powder meaning hey get them from my cabinet sir oh my god do you see this stuff all right so I'm using about half of a scoop that's a lot but that's about 12 grams of protein in there plus we're gonna get protein from the chicken too so we're just kind of bumping this up just a notch and so I'm just gonna stir that in until it's fully combined. And the ISO Pure protein powder that I use, it's very blendable. Like it's made for baking and cooking and all of the things. So I don't get clumps. You have no idea it's even in there because again, it's unflavored. So they have no flipping clue what's even in here. And once you add everything else, they have no clue. All right, so we are all combined in there. Now that is just, that is just the cream of chicken protein. Okay, and now I'm gonna take, I've had these out on the counter for a little bit, so they're not fully defrosted, but it's just a little bit. I just do a country blend of veggies, but whatever your veggie of choice is, think of a chicken pot pie. What do you like in a chicken pot pie, okay? So get those veggies, that's what I'm using there. I'm going to add in my seasonings. I'm going to do onion powder. And I'm going to do some ooh, have onion and garlic powder. Garlic powder. These are like staples in this house. Um, I am going to do a little bit of Italian seasoning just because I like Italian seasoning, especially when it's in like a baked casserole type of a dish. So a little bit of Italian seasoning there. Then I'm gonna add in just a little bit of paprika. Again, that's just something that I like to add to a nice baked dish. All right, now you could add your salt and your pepper in as well. I'm not using salt because there's enough sodium that's already in that cream of chicken. So I don't use that. So then all I'm going to do is just mix this all together. So that way I can get my seasonings all mixed in get my veggies all coated. 
All right, so we've got all of that together. Now we're just going to build our vessel. So I'm just gonna take some cooking spray. I do a big nine by 13 pan. I'm gonna dump in my creamy veggie mixture with that secret ingredient. Mm. I'm telling you guys, this is seriously the easiest way to get a comfort food meal in and not cook all day for it. All right, so now I'm just gonna mix all of this together. Oh, look at that, it looks delicious. So yummy. So now, before I add our crust, I'm just gonna do little thin tabs of butter because what that does is it's going to help cook into our crust and just give it that buttery texture and that makes it the comfort food that we love, right? Now, the, this is optional, so if you don't wanna do this, don't do it, but I do it and it comes out absolutely perfect every single time. These are just very thin, thin, thin little pads of butter. Okay. Now we're gonna take some crescent roll and I use the big long crust. Um, but if your store doesn't have this, that's okay. You can use regular crescent dough and it works just the same. I'm gonna take this guy out. And now we're just going to unroll it right over the top our chicken pot pie. Mm. Just like a little blanket. Wrap her up. Get her all nice and cozy. There we go. Yes, my hands are clean. All right, now what we wanna do is we wanna add a couple little slits into this so then that way while it's cooking, the steam comes out. It also gives it just a nice little aesthetic look when it comes out of the oven. So I kind of go at a little diagonal. You can make little X's and O's, like love you, hugs, kisses. I don't care. All right, now our last and final step. I've got one beaten egg, so pay no attention to the jumping uh, spatula. Okay, so we've just got one beaten egg. This is what you call an egg wash. So if you're familiar with baking, you know what this is gonna do. This is gonna make it just nice golden brown all over the top and just give us a nice, perfect finishing touch. Piece de resistance to our chicken pot pie. Do you see how easy this came together though? Honestly, like, again, you wanna make your own chicken, that's cool. You, you wanna make your own cream of chicken, that's cool. I just, I like the store shortcuts um, when it comes to this recipe, that's what makes it such an easy and go-to meal. And we're getting lots of protein in here because of all of that chicken and our secret ingredient. So it's a good protein meal. I don't feel guilty about it. And if you don't want the crust, don't have the crust. Now, before I bake it, I'm just gonna add a little bit of sea salt to the top. So we're baking this at 375 for 13 minutes. Here we go. All right, it's time to take her out of the oven. Let's see what she looks like. It smells amazing. First of all, it smells amazing. Oh, she is still sizzling. Mmm. Of course, that egg wash that we brushed on top. Ah, oh, perfection. Listen to that. So, like I said, if you want to do more low carb, then just eat what's underneath. And then the rest of your family, if they're anything like mine, can eat the rest of the carbiness. Uh, but everything under there is good for you. So, remember, we've got our secret ingredient in there too. So, surprise, surprise, shocker. Don't tell anybody my secret. Good thing my husband doesn't watch my TikToks. Um, but... There it is, the best comfort food chicken pot pie you'll make.